Good evening, my name is Katarzyna Nowicka and welcome to Poland Daily News. The Polish Senate has adopted the so-called Five for Animals bill with all the amendments. Now the Law and Justice Party's bill is to be returned to the Polish Sejm. 76 senators voted for the Animal Protection Bill and its amendments. 11 MPs were against the bill and 10 abstained from voting. MPs adopted the amendments of the bill, including the amendment on the limitation of the ritual slaughter of poultry. 97 senators voted for the amendment and two abstained from voting, one from the Law and Justice Party and the other MP from the Polish People's Party. The Senate also adopted the amendment from the provisions limiting the ritual slaughter on the extension of vacatio legis until 2025, as well as the prohibition of animal breeding for fur farming until July 31, 2023. Leader of the Law and Justice Party Jarosław Kaczyński gave an interview with the daily Gazeta Polska Codziennia. When asked whether the Fight for Animals bill means a sharp turn to the left, Mr. Kaczyński strongly denounced the claim. The critics of the bill say the Law and Justice Party is taking a left turn, trying to appease big city voters and working for the anthropologization of animals propagated by leftist ideologists. It hurts my teeth when I hear this sort of lunacy. We are simply trying to protect living beings from unnecessary suffering. It is a very human and Christian reflex, even more so since there have been many abuses being made in terms of ritual slaughter when it was being used not because the clients demanded it, but because it was cheaper to execute. These kinds of practices, caused by the sheer desire for monetary gain, will not be allowed. The Polish Ministry of Health confirmed 6,500 positive tests for coronavirus just in the last 24 hours. 116 new deaths associated with the disease were also reported. However, only 11 of these were caused solely by COVID-19. The majority of new infections are in Warsaw and Kraków. Everything points to the fact that both cities may soon find themselves in the red zone, which means strict restrictions for the inhabitants of these cities. Mamy dzisiaj ponad 6,5 tysiąca zakażeń. As we can see from the test results published today, the epidemiological situation in two Polish voivodeships is developing in a very unnerving manner. The Mazovian voivodeship has noted over 1,100 new infections and the Małopolskie voivodeship also over 1,100. It must be said that the capitals of the voivodeships had the biggest influence on these new numbers. Warsaw has contributed to around 720 cases in the Mazovian voivodeship and Kraków 499 in the Małopolskie Wojewodeship. Other large cities in Poland with worrying numbers of coronavirus infection are Poznań and Łódź. Every day it can be seen that mainly large cities bring up the number of cases. There are no single outbreak areas. Poles are mainly infecting one another on the streets. If you're asking whether Warsaw has the chance to transform into a red zone in the coming days, I will not hide the fact that we are preparing to announce over 100 Polish districts as the new red zones and many large cities are to be part of this list. This means that between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. only people above the age of 65 will be able to shop. Ladies and gentlemen, it is obligatory to wear face masks across the country since last Saturday in order to protect our seniors and in order to make them feel safe when leaving their houses and shopping. Starting tomorrow, we've decided to return the so-called senior hours to the Polish stores. Our seniors will be able to shop from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. safely. Of course, if they want to, our seniors will be able to shop anytime they want at different hours. However, we suggest these hours in order to make sure they are protected. Only 22 days are left until the U.S. presidential election. At a rally in Pennsylvania, President Donald Trump accused the Democrats of staging an assault on freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution, such as the Second Amendment allowing for gun ownership. One of the most important issues for Pennsylvania is the survival of your fracking industry. Joe Biden has repeatedly pledged to abolish fracking. He's a liar, okay? He's a liar. The Democrat Party hates fracking. They hate coal. They hate clean, beautiful coal. I see what they do with coal now. They hate domestic energy production. 
and Biden will shut you down. He wants to shut you down just like your governor's got you shut down right now. They better open up your state. If they win, Democrats will pack the Supreme Court with radical left justices who will shred your Second Amendment. You can forget about guns, empower violent mobs, and shield deadly criminals and terrorists. To defend our Constitution from this madness, I proudly nominated Judge Amy Coney Barrett of the United States Supreme Court and to the court. That's all for tonight. Now on to Poland Daily Business with Aleksander Wierzejski and his guest. Good night.